Hey, hiring managers. Reopening your small business and rebuilding your team can be tricky when 64% of furloughed workers don't plan to return to their previous employer. If your workers don't come back, Snagajob is here to help. Use snagajob.com to handle your rehiring with access to 47 million hourly workers looking for service industry jobs like yours. You'll save 25% each month with promo code podcast. Start hiring at snagajob.com today. You're listening to Africa Business Radio's news. Facebook and Twitter have penalized U.S. President Donald Trump and his campaign for posts in which the president claimed children were almost immune to coronavirus. Facebook deleted the post, a clip from an interview Mr. Trump gave to Fox News saying it contained harmful COVID misinformation. Twitter followed by saying it had frozen a Trump campaign account until a tweet of the same clip was removed. A Facebook spokesperson on Wednesday evening said the video includes false claims that a group of people are immune from COVID-19, which is a violation of the company's policies around harmful COVID misinformation. It was the first time the social media giant had taken account to remove content posted by the president based on its coronavirus misinformation policy, but not the first time it has penalized President Trump over content on his page. On Wednesday, Twitter also said it had frozen the Team Trump account because it posted the same interview except which President Trump's account shared. Uh, that was the news that brought to you by us here, the newsroom team of Africa Business Radio. You can continue to listen live online at www.africabusinessradio.com or via our mobile app. Thank you for listening. I'm Bimbola Awiyali. <laughs>